YouTuber and game critic John Bain, aka Total Biscuit, and the cynical Brit has announced he is retiring due to his advancing cancer. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more trending news stories daily. The announcement was posted on Bain's behalf to Reddit, detailing his oncologist's belief that chemotherapy treatment would no longer be effective. The post reads in part, obviously we're gonna keep looking for other trials, but I'm currently coming to terms with the fact that I don't have long left, and right now at any rate, there's literally nothing I can do about it other than to try to manage the pain as best as possible and stay as hydrated as possible to ease the pressure on the liver. Bain first announced he had bowel cancer in 2014. It spread to his liver in 2015 and doctors told him it was inoperable. But he continued with a regular posting schedule and remained popular with over 2 million subscribers on YouTube. Bain said his decision to retire as a critic is due to the schedule being too hard to keep up with while he's on several medications and his health is failing. That said, he will be continuing several projects, which given the state of his health is honestly amazing. His podcast, Co-Optional, will still release weekly episodes, though they'll be two hours instead of three. And he'll still stream gameplay on YouTube and Twitch with his wife, Jenna. He's even teased that Jenna may take over the Total Biscuit channel when he's gone. Many fans have asked Bane if they can donate to him, maybe through a GoFundMe, but he's rejected any type of donation, saying that he'd rather not do that while he can still make money from existing projects. Fans have created a thread on Reddit to share what Bane has meant to them. One user wrote, he helped me fight my depression during tough years of being a nerdy teenager, and he helped me to foster my love for podcasts. Another wrote, as a sometimes cynical, sometimes silly, and always acerbic wit, TB's videos have the amazing ability to be rewatched years after a game has come out and been assigned to the bargain bin. Bane has asked his fans to please not speculate about how much longer he may have to live, but he is grateful that he's outlived the expectations of this diagnosis. It's a particularly frustrating day for YouTube fans, as Simone Yetch, a YouTuber who builds robots, announced her own diagnosis. Uh, yeah, last week I found out that I have a pretty substantial brain tumor plot twist. Good news is that I'm probably not dying, and it seems like the tumor is uh, non-cancerous and benign, but it's pretty big. It's like the size of a golf ball. Though the tumor appears to be benign, Simone will require an operation to remove it. And then after that, doctors will be able to determine if there's cancer present. The surgery is extensive, and she details in her videos some of the many problems she could face. I can become blind on my right eye or lose all muscular function around it. I might also become paralyzed on the left side of my face. I might start getting seizures. I might have a stroke. I might have spinal fluid leaking out through my nose. It's of course a very heavy announcement from a delightful YouTube personality who only started making content in 2015. Within a year of posting her first hilariously unsuccessful robots, she was showing how she does it to Stephen Colbert on The Late Show. I will back away. Can I trust you with this? Today? I have pre-counted my fingers, I have okay, 10. Okay, okay. So we just switch it on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And here we go, yeah. So this is perfect for a nutritious uh -huh. meal. Simone says that she does still plan to make content, but it might be a little bit less frequent since she's gonna be undergoing treatment for the tumor. She also plans to post updates about her treatment to Twitter and Instagram. Simone has a Patreon, which her fans and friends are sharing, as a way to support her during her hiatus from making content. Actor and musician Jimmy Wong tweeted, I love Simone Yetch because she's a badass inventor, brilliant mind, and incredible role model for young girls everywhere. Retton Link wrote, sending all the love, support, and mythicality we can. And Jenna Marbles tweeted, I love you so, so much. I'll be thinking of you every day and I hope the surgery goes great. Keep laughing, keep joking. I can't imagine what you're going through, but your ability to laugh is nothing short of inspiring. Our prayers and thoughts go out to John Bain and Simone Yetch as they fight these illnesses. For more trends, head to whatstrending.com.